Alrighty, as this says, we've seen um, uh, pairs in the past, like the Paris Hilton 1981. I believe that was in chapter 7 with the uh, uh, loops, the iteration stuff. Uh, we saw pairs. Well, you can do more than that. You can do more than just two items. And um, whether you do just two items or, well, actually, you could do just one item. Uh, when you surround them in the parentheses like this, uh, we call that a tuple. That's a particular uh, data structure, just like a, a, an int or a, a floating point or a string. And of course, this is a lot like a string. Uh, we'll see, although um, uh, you know here it contains a string. Um, so these are tuples, and um, you know let's just. I'm just going to go here and instead of using their particular example, um, uh, I'm going to just use some numbers. And, um, and so you know, I'll go here and I'll say, well, okay, uh, t for tuple in this case is equal to a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so there's the a tuple, and then if I simply say, oh, well, what's t of, um, and notice I'm using the square brackets, uh, t of 1 should be 1. Um, whoops, I want to print in front of that. And um, so if I run that, you see we get a 1. And, you know, if I change it to a four, uh, we'll get the four spot there, um, you know, or a zero or, or whatever. And uh, again, uh, like with, um, uh, uh, we saw some things with this, with uh, the strings, I believe. Um, if I go to a five, um, there, there, there's not an index of five here. Uh, and if I run that, uh, it gives me an error, a tuple index out of range. But notice, it, see, it knows it's a tuple. And, um, uh, and we cannot do assignment. So let me put this back to like a zero. So we know that's not an error. Uh, but if I, if I say something like t of uh, 1 equals 5, um, and try to run that, uh, again, does not support item assignment. So just like with strings, um, they're immutable in that we can't um, change the value of, say, that 1 uh, there to a 5 uh, simply by trying to use the uh, indexing uh, operator here, the square brackets on the left-hand side. So, you know, on the other hand, if we said something like um, uh, s is equal to t of 1, and then we print s, that'll be just fine. We can, we can put that uh, indexing operator on the right-hand side, um, but we cannot put it on the, the left-hand side. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, for yeah for this section. Um, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we've got uh, uh, interesting. Yeah, so they point this out that that actually, if you uh, I guess do a um, a single element tuple uh, like this, x equals five. So we'll try that with the type statements. Um, that uh, as long as you have a comma in there, it'll say it's a tuple. Uh, but if you don't, and you just have a single number in there, it'll maybe go int or floating point. So we can try all those. Um, okay, so let's try s, and uh, we'll um, we'll just uh, again make make it something simple. You know, like. Uh, 0 comma 1 and if we print the type of s uh, uh, we
we should get uh, tuple. Yeah, tuple. Now let's try theirs. Let's get rid of the zero. See if it says int. And it does say int, so I guess it turns out if we do that. Now let's put a you know point one on there. And it should say float. And there it is. So float. Uh, heck, we could even make it a string, I guess. And it should say string. Okay, but as soon as we add that comma, it says it's a tuple, even though we have nothing in that, that next spot after the comma. Okay, so that's 9.1.